Howdy everyone, my name is Jay, and today I'm going to play three more poorly reviewed Steam games. The only difference is that instead of doing three different categories, I thought for this one we would do three free poorly rated games. So if I go to the tags, I'm gonna type in, actually I think there's a, oh, there's not anymore. I'm gonna type in free to play. So now we have all the free to play games. And we're gonna search by name, because last time I think that gave pretty quick results. So I found this one called Box Survivors World in Death Run Guys, which is an interesting title for a game. Let's look at the pictures and read the description for it. No trailer for it. This kind of looks like, uh... oh, what's that game called? Is it Human Fall Flat? I think that's what it's called. I never played it, but I have seen other people play it. Death Run Guys, Bunny Hop is an endless platform running game with the goal of getting the highest score and getting into the top players list. This game features a bunny hop mechanic to gain more speed while jumping. One of the worst shooters I have ever played gave this a 1 out of 5 because at the very least the game runs poorly. Is this a shooter? I thought it was a platforming. Oh, I guess it's PvP. Okay. I just can't read. OMG, is this a horror game? Because it's so horrible. <laughs> so was that joke. Worst shooter I have played. The game says bug fix or game update and doesn't tell us anything else. It's crazy how incompetent they are. Hopefully I can get into a match and... I'm not the best at PvP. I mean, there's PvP games that I do play, but yeah, let's try it out, see how it feels. So this one is called Cats, and just looking at the photos on the side, this seems interesting. It's a simulation game. Not sure what that means. <laughs> Pet toy mode. Cats is a cat-based parody of some of the top video games of all time. Enjoy parodies inspired by Super Mario Bros, Tetris, ooh I love Tetris, Candy Crush Saga, Nintendogs, plus cats, Sonic the Hedgehog, more all from Cat's perspective. It also features a pet toy. For a free game, you can't expect much. Arcade mode and puzzle mode were passable, don't even ask me what the jump mode was about. Another useless game. Well, this looks interesting. It almost, so this picture, these two pictures look like fun run, like on mobile. All right, sure, let's get it. So this one looks interesting. It's called Dark Blue Warrior, and it's an ad adventure action roguelike. I don't know what 2.5D means. Maybe it's the perspective. Aliens and then RPG. That's a little louder than I wanted it to be. I don't want to listen to that. That's loud. Kind of looking for shorter. Oh, we have one good review right here. Be careful of the Prego B enemy in the game. Caw caw. <laughs> it shoots a multi spread shot and it has high health caw caw. <laughs> what is up with this person saying caw caw? I wish the best of luck, Caw Caw. Oh, annoying crow. <laughs> oh, I feel dumb now. Is there... They spell anything wrong. Maybe... Maybe they don't know English very well. Cause... Yeah, I guess if you think about it, any should be, should be spelled with an E-N. That just sounds correct. Anyway, sorry. Is there anything else than just shoot? Any dash skills? 
The game's combat is unintuitive and boring. The game has no saving feature. The game doesn't even feature a dark blue warrior. You're telling me I can't pick a dark blue warrior? That's the whole name of the game. This just says poor game. Clickbait. The warrior is gray and not dark blue with a one in there. I think they forgot to click shift while adding that one explanation point. All right, well, I'm a little upset that he's not dark blue. Even in the thing, he's not dark blue. Maybe when they say dark blue warrior, they mean like space warrior? Because it says alien, so maybe that's what it means. I don't know. Let's get it. All right, so the first game we're gonna play is called death run guys i hope you can hear the audio because i had to actually turn it down because there's not an option or a setting to turn down the music for the game so if not i'll fix it later in post if i can or i'll add subtitles if i'm feeling up to it but yeah i guess let's get started Ooh, we can make a character oh here's settings Oh, it doesn't... Well... I have zero gems. This also looks like a... Okay, so we have two characters. We have... Him, and then her. Assuming that's what they wish to be called. I guess this is what we click to play. Oh, there are more characters, and you can buy characters. Oh, is it only the three? Well, I'm not buying more gems. Yeah, no, I'm not buying gems. I don't need extra characters. She's cute. I like it. I guess let's play. So, this kind of feels like... Well, what I would assume... Human fall flat. If I'm thinking of the right game. I got... What happened? <laughs> it just kicked me out. What? There's a leaderboard? I got zero. Because it wouldn't let me finish. Wait. Let's go back. All right, let's do this again. This looks like the same level. Do I have to get there in a certain time? So it didn't tell me that. Okay, this isn't too difficult and these really don't do anything. <laughs> oh. Sure, let's play again. I actually want to finish it. Yeah, so I can just kind of stand on the edge and nothing will happen. Like, it doesn't actually, like, do anything to you. Oh, Jesus. Wait, is that a running faster button? No. Also, you can only jump. I'm like clicking other buttons. Well, actually, if I die again, I'll uh I'll look back at the controls. Well, I shouldn't have been here. So, what were the controls again? Jump left mouse is kick okay well yeah so you can only kick <laughs> oh it's a cute little animation so let me finish this level and then once I finish the level 
I'll uh, see what happens at the end. Okay, so we got to the stars now. Oh, you have to move with it. It doesn't move you. So if I stand still, <laughs> I'll fall off. And I've already gotten way too far. <gasps> and you can't look down, so like I can't tell if I'm about to make it or not. Oh, that's... Oh, that's such bull... Mm. Oh, I can't believe I made that. <gasps> Why didn't you jump? So does the water not rise until I step on it? Or does it start rising once I step on those platforms back there? I'm not sure. Ooh, nope. Oh, no. Wait, does the water rise when I get there? How are you supposed to complete that? Alright, so the game... I wouldn't say... is the best. Definitely a lot of work. Also, your character kind of slides a little bit, which I don't mind. Another thing is that when you stand on these, you don't move at all. Maybe it's supposed to make your eyes disoriented, but it doesn't move you. And neither does these platforms. So when you stand on them, you have to move with it or it'll just drop you. Um, you can't move like the mouse up and down, no matter, like I'm trying really hard. <laughs> but it only moves side to side, and that can be kind of difficult when you're landing on especially smaller platforms or moving platforms, because you can't necessarily tell if you're above it. Like right there, I was on the edge, but to me it looked like I was in the center, so. Oh, the water is just rising from the beginning, so you have to do it quick. Okay, that makes more sense. So you have to do it really fast, which doesn't bother me. That's a good challenge now that I understand the challenge. But not only do you have to complete the challenge, you have to do it. Ugh. You have to do it in a certain order, and I feel like, especially with like, and I know it's not human fall flat, but I'm just kind of using it as an example because that's what it looks like, not necessarily what it's trying to be, but it kind of looks like it got maybe a little bit of inspiration from, nope, not human fall flat, Fall Guys. That's the game I was talking about. My bad. From Fall Guys. And so... And it looks like it got the inspiration from that game, at least the style of it. But it doesn't give you any, like, explanation on, like... It doesn't tell you at the beginning if the water is rising. So that's kind of annoying, because this whole time I thought I was, like, trying to take my time and figure out the route. But it's constantly trial and error. And another thing is... I couldn't get to the end, so I don't know if there's other levels, but if that's the only level, it's needs a little bit of work, like getting basic mechanics to finish. But it again, it wasn't really a bad game, just it, and this will probably always be my answer, it just needs a lot of work and love. So that being said, let's get on to the next game. Alright, so the next game is called Cats, which it wouldn't let me, like, there weren't many options for how big the size can be, so you can see my background and desktop a lot more. So we have an arcade mode, a 
a jump mode and a puzzle mode. So we'll try each one. Oh, and then you have screensaver mode and cat toy mode. So let's do them in order. We'll probably do one or two times for each one depending. And yeah, let's see how it goes. All right, so this one looks like it might be a copy of Super Mario, maybe, or just Mario in general. Tap to jump. Oh, it moves for you. Okay. Was not expecting that. You move so fast. So you don't use the keyboard at all. You just use your mouse for this one at least. Oh, jumping on that mushroom is hard. How am I supposed to... Oh, I can double jump, that's right. No! Okay, let me see if I can get past this level. Oh, no! I got a star. Ooh, should I try to collect all the stars? Ooh, I thought I wasn't gonna make it. What's that? Wait, what was that? Was I supposed to click it? Oh, I went over it. Wasn't my plan. Oh, I didn't see the star again. How long is this level? Touch the card. That looks like uh, those blind tests that you take, to, or colorblind tests, there we go. I got 20 coins. Did I make it? I did, I didn't get all three stars. So we'll do one more level in arcade and then we'll move on to the next one. I'm assuming it's the same controls. Ooh, now we have enemies. I probably should have seen what the enemy does. But I'm already too far ahead and I'm missing all of the stars. Ooh! Oh! I still missed it! I don't really like how I go off the screen, but it's not the end of the world. Ooh, another card. I got 10 coins. All right, I'm gonna repeat this, and, but I want only to see what the Venus flytrap does, like if there's an animation or anything. Oh, he like went to space. Okay, this isn't too bad. Turn that off. This wasn't too bad. The music isn't bad either. It's actually kind of catchy, kind of fun to listen to. So let's go to a different one. So now we have jump mode. And I don't know what that could entail. Is it like, like when I think jump mode, I guess the first thing I think is like Flappy Bird. Okay. You have to use the arrow keys. You cannot use WASD. And I died immediately. 10 meters. I got 10 meters off the ground. Oh, it looks like it's... So, it's similar to a doodle jump. Wait, is that good or bad? That's bad. Wait, is it not a cat? You don't really jump very high. And, like, if it's randomly generated, that can be kind of... Well, I guess doodle jump was randomly generated but some of these aren't possible okay so this is just a parody of i'm assuming doodle jump unless there's another game that does this 
Oh, I have a shield now. The black lava looking ones, you just fall straight through. Cats are bad. I don't know the difference between the... Oh, so the blue one I'm assuming is a normal jump. The red one... Ooh. The red one is kind of a spring jump, or it is a spring jump. The, like, maroon, I guess, with the, like, reddish outline are moving. I guess those are the only ones that can move. And then you cannot touch the cats or the, uh, the little mines that are in the air. So, I'm gonna go until I can't do this one anymore. Oh, and then you have abilities, which take you places, which is kind of cool, kind of like Doodle Jump did. It's a very simple game. Yeah, I wasn't going to make that. All right, now we have puzzle mode. When I think puzzle mode, I think like Jigsaw or maybe like Escape Room-esque puzzles, but let's see what kind of puzzles this game gives us. This game is also quiet. Or maybe I have to click start or start the game. Oh. Okay. We have. Oh, like Candy Crush. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm turning off the sound. So the music is the same, I'm assuming, for all of it. And this just seems like Candy Crush. Oh, you're timed. So I'm assuming I have to get as many white cats as possible. I think that's what this means. So put that down. Oh, nothing looks like it's moving. Oh, I did it. With three stars. So I don't know if this is saying I should get as many cats as possible or if I should only go for a certain color because I mean it's only the white one so I'm just going to do the white cats for now unless so if I well to the best of my ability I'll get as many as I can. Yeah, so the other cats don't seem too much like they're getting anything. And it has a pretty good amount of variation. I know every game like this is different. Sometimes you can do like four like this. Sometimes you can't. Kind of depends on the game. Like sometimes you can put it there, but this one won't let you. So, but it does do the large L, if that makes sense. Like right here, where it goes this way. It lets you do that, which is kind of nice. So there is a little bit of complexity to it. All right, well, pretty basic, simple game. Now we'll, I guess, screensaver mode? If this changes my background, I would be mad. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Oh. You can change the cat. That's cute. It's just kind of weird that it's like right in my face. Also, there's feathers in the background, which is confusing. Is it interactive? Didn't like that noise. So I guess it's just an interaction thing. Listen to cat noises if you want. Cat toy mode. This, I have no clue what it could be. But we'll try it. Cat toy mode. Just leave your cat alone with your screen on. 
and let your cat try to chase and catch various objects on screen. So I just leave this running on my computer. Oh, I don't like the sound of bugs in my ear. Oh, you leave it on your screen for like your real life cat, I think. Or you could just have fun squishing things. Oh, no, no, no. Nope, I can't do that. I don't do certain bugs and most of those are those certain bugs. Game's not bad. Um, it gives you a bunch of different options. I would say arcade and jump were the most fun. Puzzle was fun too. I wish there was more of a goal rather than just getting as many of a certain color cat as you can. And maybe down the line it does end up doing that, but the beginning was kind of boring and stale. Screensaver mode. If you have like a kid or something and you want to entertain them, I mean the game's free. You can entertain them and the music isn't too bad either. And then cat toy mode, uh, I didn't like that at all. So my favorite probably would have been arcade because it was actually pretty fun. Second favorite would be jump, then it would be puzzle. So exactly in this order is how fun it is. So I think these three are the games. And then these two are just like interactive things. But yeah, that's it for cats. On to the next one. Alright, so this game is called Dark Blue Warrior. And I thought there's like no exit screen. I was trying to turn the music down because it was loud. Actually, I need to turn it down even more. And I need to turn it down for you guys. Hopefully that will allow you to hear it, but not overpower my voice, because it's pretty loud and I can't really change anything. I don't know what these do. So WSD to walk. Use mouse, right mouse, nope, left mouse button to, call, to shoot. Let's see if there's any enemies. Ooh. Ow. This is so many enemies. Alright. So most roguelikes usually have some randomness to it, so let's see if we go back in if it will give us a random map or a random... Uh, yeah, just map. Or will it be same? It's different. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, they can shoot. They can shoot through walls, but I can't. All right. Will we teleport somewhere new? Yes. So I don't like that they can shoot through walls. Oop. Why stop? Okay. They have coins. Oh, so the apples fill your health. I'm gonna leave that one. Hopefully it doesn't, like, despawn the likes. So, this is kind of funky. You can't go this way. Granted, there's a big opening. Maybe you need, like, a key or... Oh, it's because I didn't kill all the enemies. I can't see with this damn thing in the way. Aiming's kind of a bit difficult. Let's see how far I'll get. Say so there's not really much else except, like, it doesn't seem like you can level up. Also, there are... I feel like the ratio of, like, ratio of enemies to like me especially with how slow I click like I shoot I think the shooting should be a little bit faster 
but again, I'm not really big on roguelikes. Also, they can shoot through walls, or at least some of them. Or I guess certain obstacles, but only theirs go through, mine don't go through. Okay, so it seems like there's three areas. Oof. And you don't move fast enough, and there's like no dodge. So like, I can't dodge things either. Wait, is mine going through? Oh, mine does go through. Oh, hurry up. Oh, Wait, I thought I had two hearts. Alright. Let's see how far I can get. Ooh. You seem scary. You move so slow you can't, like, dodge. It also, like, when I have the opportunity, I'll get out and show you the beginning. Like, at the start. Because, like, all I did was click a button, and it threw me into the game. Like, I didn't have any options. Ooh, I did it. I think. There might be another... Let's go down here. Let's see what's over here. What is this? Ooh! I have 40 gold. Number of bullets. Maximum blood. Okay, so you can upgrade. Let's go here and see. So I feel like constant moving kind of helps, but also it doesn't. Depends on who you're going up against. Oh, I think I'm screwed. Ooh. Grab these. Ooh. Okay, so the way they turn. Oh, I, I, I'm clicking toward them. Ooh. Okay, I can probably cheese this one like I did last time. I think right here is safe. Oh, are those going to stay there forever? Oh, I'll grab that. And moonwalk out of here. Oop. Sweet. So we have 70. We still can't buy anything. Oh, no. Okay. Let's go see them. So you can kind of maneuver where do some things work out of the way, but you can't work boxes. Kind of go from the distance, but you'll have to stop up here some of the way. Kind of picked up some of your screen. But I can't tell. I can kind of see it. Okay, I have 120 points, so I'm gonna go to the one down. I'll probably go here with restart. Oh. Oh, I'm pushing into a wall. Ooh, that's close. So you can kind of stop time certain things. This one over here. Right. And this one's kind of the same. So if I go here, oh, okay. I think this is the room I started in. Yeah, so they don't respawn. If we can get one of these, we can upgrade number of bullets or upgrade maximum blood level. Here's the thing, I thought I had infinite bullets, so I'm wondering if this means that it's gonna upgrade how fast I shoot, because that would be helpful. And then I think maximum blood volume would be like, it increases your HP. So we're gonna upgrade. I'm assuming that one. Oh, okay, so now I shoot two bullets at a time. I think they could have done a little bit more like in this area where it's just pitch black. Maybe add white in the background to make it look like space, because we're in space. At least based off of what it explained in the thing. I'm pretty sure this was the one that said it was space. Alright, I'm gonna keep going until I die. And I'm not gonna try too hard, like I have been the last time. I'm just gonna rush it, really. So if you get hit by two bullets. Okay, so this probably works best close up. Or if you want to hit two targets and know how to aim, which I don't. That was quick. 
pretty sure there's one over here. Oh, so I'm assuming I completed the entire level. Ooh. Or at least that entire section. Yeah. So many enemies. And then when it goes back, it goes back to single shooter. Alright. So I'm gonna have to control alt delete to get out of the game since escape isn't working. So when I click on it, this is the main screen that comes up. I don't know the language. I'm not even gonna attempt it. There doesn't seem to be any. So I'm assuming it just means click and then you start the game. So not a bad game. Um, I don't know what any of this is. Maybe I just didn't get far enough to figure it out. But the game itself is not horrible. Um, I'm not very well experienced in roguelike, and I probably should have thought of that before I decided to play it. Uh, the movement is a little clunky, and by that I mean like when you aim, like it's so far away from my mouse, and it's a lot harder to aim, especially when you're moving. Maybe that's what roguelikes are like, but I don't remember any roguelikes like that. I also usually play roguelikes on like a controller. Maybe it's because I'm on a mouse and that makes it harder. So, but it does have like upgrades and stuff. I don't know if like these are a part of those upgrades or what. It's not like letting me do anything with them. And you can only move around, but you can't adjust any of your settings if you want to. So if you want to change the volume, uh, you have to do it manually. You cannot do it like from here. You cannot adjust the game volume itself. So if you want to listen to music, good luck! Music's not bad. I wish it had a little bit more variety to it, and then I wish... Maybe just because this is the starting gun, it's a lot slower. I wish they had more colors. Blue's pretty. I will say I do like these effects right here, as well as the actual blasts and particles. I think that looks really nice, really pretty. Oh, they do have stars here. Earlier I was saying how they could use the void with stars, but they actually do have stars here. Okay, maybe it was just that area. Oh, I'm stuck in the floor. Oh. I can't move, I can't look around. I think I broke it. But anyway, that was three poorly rated games. If I had to pick a favorite, I would say it was Cats, because it had a lot of different things that you can do. There were a lot of like funky mechanics with it. It was still rather like charming. I thought it was really charming. The music's okay. Um, I wish it had a little bit more variety in the music, and honestly, I wish all of all three games had variety in music, and it wasn't just like the same song on loop. Like if Cats did different music for each game, like in the puzzle game, if it did something a little bit more peaceful, that would have been nice, but in like in the running game, uh, the arcade game, if it had something a little bit more intense, I think uh, I would have liked it even more. The Cats game isn't bad. It's um, just like a basic game. If you're really bored, I mean, it's actually pretty fun. Um, my second favorite, I think I'm gonna go with the blue warrior, this one, the blue warrior. And the main reason is because there's a lot going on and it is challenging. And if you like a challenge, this is definitely a challenge. It can be kind of bland, but you do at least have options to like upgrade and things of that nature. And then I would say my least favorite was Death Run. And honestly, it was just very repetitive all across the board. If you died, 
like you went back to the same game and but it didn't even seem like there were other levels in the game like there was no like level selection and maybe there are more levels and i just wasn't able to get to the end but also the the obstacles didn't really do anything like the cir the obstacles that are moving in a circle they don't move you and then when you land on a platform that is like moving like forwards backwards or side to side it doesn't take you with it you have to stay on it like with your own hand because if you just stand still it will just move underneath you and just leave which kind of got annoying especially since you're supposed to do this really fast but yeah i guess that would be my review so if you like the video leave it a like subscribe if you're feeling up to it and i'll see you in the next one